So I thought it would be easier to explain this by just making a short video. Um, so this is the app that opens up when you uh, uh, double click on it. And it basically shows a waveform uh, with some controls. And my whole thing with this is that it's like uh, a sampler that you can just play back a sound at any point um, and like even just freeze, freeze the sound. A little bit like granular, but this is um, using spectral technology. Um, this is the original file I just play you. Just a guitar. And then towards the end you've got these just sort of notes and harmonics. Um, so so the file's loaded here and you can you can load in files just by dropping them in. Um, but yeah if you click anywhere on the sound it will just play it instantaneously at that point. And you can see there's roughly there's like a kind of um, a grid here so if you go up it will um, pitch up and down uh, also if you if you have um, if you just play on your keyboard much like in Ableton you can um, uh, you can you can just use the musical typing or whatever it's called and, and play chords it's, it's got a 20, 20 note polyphony um, but yeah you can like uh, guitars work really well because they're sort of quite um well they're acoustic um and uh yeah have lots of like subtlety in their harmonics um i've added a few nice controls one is like just an envelope so when you click it it's sort of uh, you know you can create pads if you have a strong uh, uh, attack and release and an another feature that's really nice is is this uh, kind of like lfo so if I just turn this up, you see it sort of like oscillates around a bit of the sound, creating these nice, nice textures. Oh, oh yeah, there's a bit, of a bit of a bug there. But you can you can go quite fast and like sort of scan around. Um, and then this this window stuff, it's all about. Um, uh, I don't. I don't really want to get into the technicalities of it but it, it definitely changes the sound it's, it's about how how small the kind of the spectral grains are if that makes any sense so this is a 2048 will be slightly less good quality and 4096 is the sort of like normal good quality and if you go right down to 256 you start getting some very um, interesting and weird textures um, Going up in quality seems to not really not really help that much. So yeah, I just usually leave it on the uh, on the 4096. And yeah, just like show you, you can load other sounds here. It's like a sort of river sound. So you you can tell it's it's not like granular synthesis where you hear that sort of like phasey, sort of lumpy, grainy sort of sound. This is a, a glockenspiel. Um, what else is a good sound? Uh, there's a, a gamelan. Maybe that would be. It's going to get very noisy. Oh, yeah, you can go. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I, I, uh, I'll, I'll leave you to have a play. Thanks. Oh, uh, w one more quick note is you can use a MIDI keyboard. If you plug in a MIDI keyboard, it will pick it up automatically and uh, you'll be able to play chords and stuff like that with it. Thanks a lot.